In this lesson, you will learn how to search the internet for similar images with Google Cloud Vision and UiPath. And let's talk a bit about why this is smart. Well, some competitors might take your pictures and use them on their websites, or even some non-competitors that will use your images that you paid for. And we can now create a workflow that will detect that and give us a report. So inside a Google Vision scope, search for web detection and drag this guy in. Then we need some sort of a base, base image, that is the image that we want to compare to. So we either need a local path or a URL. I just take this URL where Donald Trump, uh, he, uh, he seems very happy or maybe angry, I don't know. Then we copy the web address of the picture and go back to UI path. Inside quotation marks, paste the address in and we're done here. We will do a full match in images that will return an array of strings with web addresses. We could also do a partial, that is uh, some images that looks like this. So up here, I press Ctrl K, I say AR, full match. This will, um, this name is just a name I created. You can call it whatever you want. Then we wanna, because this is an array, we wanna loop through, or iterate through the array and print out all the addresses. So search for a for each in the activities, drag this guy in. We'll say for each image in ARR full match. Well, this is a, a, an array of strings. So up here in the for each, we change the type argument to string. If you don't know what the array is uh, consist of, then you can go down to variables and we can see that we have it here. So you can always check it down here in the variables manager. Now we just need a right line, and since it's uh, an array of strings, we can just print them out by pointing to the item here. So let's see if we can find some matching images. We will get the addresses inside our workflow, and we could uh, have created a report or something. This will just write it out to the output, and we can see that here we got all the addresses that uses this image. So far, so good. We could also have entities match where we can, uh, where Google Vision can tell us what what's inside of uh, this this picture that we chose here. So uh, down here in the web entities, then we will create a new variable, Control K AR entities like this. This will will also be an array, but uh, let's go down to variables, and we can see that this is an array of labels. So that means that we need to change it up here in the for each. We'll um, have to browse for types, drag this guy in and search for label. And then you should probably look under Google Cloud Vision models. It's here. Choose this label and we'll click OK. Now you can see that this changed because it's no longer a string. So that's the easiest thing is to make a dot and then we can see we can either print out a name or a score or we could actually print out both. So uh, a name, that will be uh, the name, then the plus, let's make a space and then a confidence score. So item and then it, we choose the score. We can either write it or just choose it like this. Since the score, let's say double, so we need to convert it to a string like this. Now we should... Um, uh, we should just need to change this array because this was the full mass that we looped through. And now we need to loop through the uh, array of web entities here. Let's see how that looks. We run it. And we can go down to output and we can see that um, impeachment of Donald Trump, that is with a confidence score of 86%. Well. It's uh, quite good. President of the United States, only 57% uh, certainty. A business person, well, 32%. You can argue that Donald Trump is not a business person anymore. Then there are some blanks. And then the president of Turkey, well, that was wrong. It is uh, not President Erdogan. So, uh, yeah, you can see there's mixed results here with this search. So in this lesson, you learned how to search the internet for similar images with Google Cloud Vision and UiPath.